Hi guys, um, Happy New Year. I hope you had a really fun time. Uh, we spent it in a bowling alley locally here in Bayeux and yeah, it was okay, but in reality I could have done with probably another day or night in bed. I still don't feel particularly great, but onwards and upwards as my old school motto used to say. We have a lot of dark wood furniture here in this room and it's absolutely beautiful. The problem that I find is, is that you can't actually see it to its best effect with the dark wood panelling behind it. It sort of acts as a camouflage, so all the lovely dark wood furniture like the buffet, the old table here, the very old chair down there, you just can't see it. It just kind of melts into the background. So what I want to do is I want to paint the panelling, bring it back to life a little bit, lighten the room up a bit, and then we'll be able to see the dark wood to its best effect. That's the plan anyway. I do actually have the paint that I want to use. I've done some testers. I was a bit of a fool in that I didn't actually make a record of the original paint that I used on the walls here. So what I've had to do is I've had to make a rough guesstimate and I've decided on this paint here. It's this one, it's by Dulux and it's called Beige Nude. I'll show that to you here. It has a slight pinky tone to it, which the rest of our walls do actually have. And I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I don't know whether you can actually see, we've got a, a chest here. This is actually beautiful. This belonged to my husband's arm. I'm just going to try and shift it out of the way a little bit for you. And then you can see what I'm up against. There you are. So these are the panels over here. Oh, did you see that? That's loose. Oh my word, why is that loose? That's crazy. Oh, it's all loose. Oh. Right, so today I shall be fixing panels and painting them. Yikes, that's heavy. Okay. Woo! That's not going to fall off. Okay, the moment of truth. You know, actually, it's not too far off the colour of the wall. I'm quite pleased with that, to be honest with you. I hope this is going to look good at the end of this, because it's going to take me probably the best part of a week to do this. OK, let's crack on. OK, so I've done the first coat. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too terrible, actually. I mean, the light's not particularly great. It's quite a grey day here today, but... By and large, I'm happy. It obviously does need another coat. This is actually good quality paint. It's 98% opacity. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad considering it's going over very dark wood. Another coat should do it, but I've got a very large room to do, so I'm gonna be here for a while, I think. But on the whole, yeah, okay. I, I think it will work. Okay, so I've just moved this bench out of the way so that I can clean up around the back and start painting there. This is old, it's a couple of hundred years old, but it's actually based on something far older. So it's kind of like a, a reproduction antique, but one that is already about sort of two to 300 years old, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So when the people who commissioned this bench had it made, they wanted it to look like an antique, but obviously the people who commissioned this, um, lived around two to three hundred years ago so this is an antique now if that makes any sense whatsoever this is actually a, a bench a seat so you could get three very thin people sitting here two probably nowadays the seats are leather but it's very old and it's actually a chest let me open it for you there you go it needs a damn good clean 
and let me show you the back. It's very, very dirty. You can see how old it is from the back there. So yeah, I've just kind of dragged it out and I will give it a thorough clean before it goes back in its rightful place. <coughs> Dusty, but you can see the original stone behind. Okay. I was kind of worried that that would be um, a gaping hole, if that makes any sense. But it isn't, so that's good. <sighs> needs a clean and needs to be refixed. Okay. Let's see if I can maybe nail that back in. I've done a little bit around the doorway here, first coat there, first coat round here and around the back of that chair and I've just started around the window frame here. What I've done is this panel here I've given a second coat to because it's dry now and it's come up quite nicely I think. It's strange because it's actually a lot pinker than the wall above and I thought it was almost a match. I don't think it's a major problem. I think it looks quite nice. Obviously it looks a little bit different in the in the daylight but by and large I'm rather pleased with it and it does make the room look a lot taller. A little tip for you guys here. If you are painting mouldings like this, whether they are recessed or whether they're actually raised, the best way that you can do these is to paint the mouldings first, like that. This is just to give you a brief idea. And then, after that you've done that, is to follow up with a roller. The reason why you do it like that is to give yourself a nice, neat finish. If you are to do it the other way around, in that you roller here first, and then you end up going over with a brush over the mouldings, you end up with a dry edge and you end up with an awful lot of brush marks. So do it that way. Mouldings first, then the roller afterwards. So this side of the room, up until the radiator of course, is more or less done. And what I want to do is get these insets here painted in gold. Once I've done that, I then want to move the furniture from here back over to here so that I can then leave the room free on this side because at the moment, as you can see, it's an absolute tip here, but I would rather kind of decorate in, well, it sounds really weird, doesn't it? An oxymoron. Um, I would much rather do renovations and decorations in a tidy place. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Probably not. But anyway, I, it, it, I just don't like mess, basically. <laughs> I'm not the sort of girl who can live on a construction site. So what I want to do is move everything 
back over here once the gold stuff is done and then I can then move over here. So this is the gold paint that I'm going to be using on the inserts. It's by Liberon. I'm not entirely sure whether or not it's the right paint to be using, but I'm going to mix it up now and, yeah, see what it looks like. It's a bit late now anyway. Okay. I'm just using a kebab skewer here to, to mix it all up. Oh, it's quite pretty. I don't know how it will apply though. We will soon find out, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know whether this is the right colour. Oh, I'm having doubts now, guys. Mm. I'm going to do the rest of these panels and I'm going to see how I feel. And I'm also going to see how it looks in the morning and also see what Christoph thinks when he gets back home from work. I have to say this is not the best light to be painting in. I think I might end up bringing down my lamp from my studio that kind of simulates daylight. Finding it very difficult. It's nine o'clock in the morning and the sunrise is beautiful. It's raining though. Time for a tea. What are you doing? <laughs> Painting a blasted radiator. I'm not allowed to swear, am I? Is it easy? No, it's not easy. I've used like four different brushes and we can't take this radiator off the wall no. um, because I've yeah, just opened a can of worms. It's just not possible. So I'm having to do it at very strange angles and I've used a special radiator brush, which is useless, mm -hmm. um, a roller and a paintbrush and also a roller on a stick to get behind and... Yeah, I don't want to redo this room for at least another 20 years. Yeah. Is your uh, seat comfortable? No, no. I'm freezing. Is it dirty? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. My bottom is cold. You had to switch off the heating also. I'm going to have to switch off the heating as well so I can actually do these radiators and I've got another one to do. So, no, I'm not a happy soul at the moment. Very, 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 very upset. But it will look good. I hope it should. I mean, I'm getting in as far as I possibly can, and I'm kind of relying on the fact that people will see what they want to see and that they're not going to be looking at the bits that I've not been able to get. I'm hoping that's the case anyway. If anybody does come here yeah. and points out bits I've missed on the radiator, I will throttle them. <laughs> How long uh, before to have finished? Uh, I've given myself a week to do the entire room, obviously not doing the walls, um, just the satin around the panels and the, and the gilding around the panels, so um, I'm giving myself a week and that's the reason, it, well, I've, I've done a couple of days work, but it's a real tip, um, as you can see. So I, 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 I'm aiming to finish by Tuesday, okay. uh, that's the plan anyway. So a lot of work. Yeah, it is a lot of work, and but what I mean, once it once it's done, I think it will look lovely, and we just need to get some new chairs for the table because I'd like to get away from the farmhouse chic look. I'd actually like it to look more like a manoir, which is obviously what this mm -hmm. place is. Um, so yeah, do you prefer me doing the decorating than you? Yeah, I'm not talented. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're designated tea maker. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let me do one, okay? Okay. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's Sunday. I got up very, very late. 
I took one look at the dining room and thought, ooh, maybe I should have a day off. And so we're on the sofa in our dressing gowns under a blanket with the fire on. Do I recall them? <laughs> it's cold and yeah, I think I'll carry on painting tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so it's Monday. I worked all through Saturday and as you guys already know, I stayed on the sofa all day yesterday and Sunday. I was very, very lazy and I kind of lost momentum a bit. Anyway, I was hoping to be finished by the end of tomorrow. <laughs> I think that's probably a bit optimistic. Well, I'm going to crack on today. I've got this side of the wall to do today and that blasted radiator and then work my way round here and then I'm going to need Christoph to help me bring the old wooden buffet out because it's just way too heavy and this originally came in three parts it's it's huge so yeah I'm hoping to have this side almost kind of done by the end of today um, and I reckon now I'll probably be finished maybe for the end of Wednesday so yeah let's crack on Wow, that's dirty. <laughs> okay. I caved in guys, it's so cold in here, I bought the industrial heater in here. I know it's going to end up kind of drying the paint a little bit faster than I would like, but you know what, I just want to be warm. doesn't look like much but this is kind of my breakfast and my lunch this is muesli bread that we get from a local supermarket um, I just need something very quickly to tidy me over so I've just toasted it but it's so cold here the the butter is rock hard I mean look at that crikey wow But I'm feeling a bit shaky, so if I don't eat something now, even something small, um, I'm not going to be able to continue painting. Wow, that is hot. Okay, so this side is nearly done. I've just got to let the surround on the window dry and give it another coat. And then I can think about, or rather Christoph can think about moving the buffet over there and I can get painting behind that. Oh, I finally feel like I've turned a corner, guys. Christoph moved this buffet for me last night so I can gain access behind here. Um, it's not in too bad a condition, actually. Obviously just a bit dusty, so I'm gonna give it a good clean down and then I'm gonna start painting. And then I'm just going to finish off the rest of the gold paint elsewhere and I should be finished after that. So yeah, I'm quite excited actually and 
I'm really quite happy to kind of get this over and done with because it's dragged on for over a week now. And as you can see here, the tiny room is a little bit of a mess. So yeah, I'm kind of over it now, if that makes any sense. And I don't want to paint another radiator again for oh, a million years. So yeah, um, just so that you know, I'll tell you a little bit about this buffet while I'm here. We bought this at an auction and it's solid wood. It's very thick wood and it came here in three parts. So the bottom here, then the top piece there and then the rail at the top. And these two columns here are what actually supports this bit here. And when Denis, uh, Denis Leger, who owns the local depot font here, came in with it, um, he or my husband put it together. And what they actually did was, is they both stood here side by side, holding this part here, and I was standing here with these, these two pieces. And I remember them straining under the weight, screaming at me to put them in as quickly as possible before the entire thing collapsed. So yeah, that was a bit nerve wracking to say the least. But it is a beautiful piece, it really is. Very happy to have it. Obviously we have a very large property so we can have pieces like this. And you'll find in France that these actually go quite cheaply because a lot of people obviously don't live in chateaus or manoirs anymore. So nobody has room in small apartments for stuff like this. Hence, you can pick these up for a few hundred euros. But yeah, it's a beautiful piece and I wouldn't be without it. And this is kind of like the breakfast bar for the cereals and the juice and the honey and things like that in the morning for my guests. Seriously, guys, I can't see what I'm doing here at all. This is too heavy for me to actually move on my own. Um, of course, I could just not paint or put any gold paint on the back of this because nobody's going to see it, but kind of I will know that I've not done it, so I want to do it. And I'm trying to work as fast as I can also because I just want this done now. And it is uh, Wednesday today. And I was hoping to have it done by, well, yesterday. I, I knew I wouldn't. Um, and I just want to kind of finish and put the dining room back together and clean it. And yeah, I think I was probably being a little bit optimistic, but I do tend to work fast when I'm painting. Um, I mean, I do know an awful lot of other people who would have taken a lot longer than me, but um, I think a week is more than sufficient. Um, yeah, and I'd like to be finished now. Oh, crikey. I also think I need to be about two dress sizes smaller. Jeez Christ. Pardon my language. I did it guys, finally done. The room's been cleared up and yeah, I am so pleased. And I have to say that I'm very, very happy that I don't have to sit on a cold floor for another day. So yeah, 
I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. The color is fantastic. So if any of you are wondering what I've used, it's called Beige Nude by Dulux and this is satin. And I think it's something like 98% opacity. So it goes on really well. You don't need much of it. I've got well over half a tin left. And for the, the gold paint here, I used a product by Liberon, which is a French company. And it's water soluble, so you don't have to rinse your brushes out with, you know, turpentine or white spirits or anything. And I've only used a fraction of that, so it was really good value and it was just under 30 euros. So I can totally recommend that. But yeah, very, very, very happy now. And the only thing really that we need to do in this room is to change the chairs and also to change the lighting here. Um, this was the light that came with the property and we've always hated it. So we're gonna get rid of that and try and get a really nice chandelier. So if we find one at a Brocon, we will let you know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and my little treat to myself tomorrow I'm going to get my roots dyed because I look terrible. So yeah, see you guys next time.